that nagging voice in your head that keeps saying, they're going to find out. You don't know what you're doing. This is way out of your league. You're going to screw up so bad. Does this sound familiar? And my friend, you've landed in the right video because I'm going to share how to deal with this posture syndrome and really kick it up to the curb. engineer and if you're ready to get out of the burnout cycle and make yourself a priority then make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time a new video gets posted okay before we get started with the hacks on how to deal with imposter syndrome let's start with the definition so imposter syndrome is defined as that doubt that we feel about our abilities or the constant feeling that we are a fraud. And I want to lean into the feeling part because this is really detrimental and can impact our overall health and well-being. So the good news is we can fix this. What is hack number one? First, let's talk about your identity. What is your identity? Remember that you are not your job title, you are not your career, you are not your college degree or if you graduated high school or not. You are more than that, my friend. You are a human being who is having a lot of different experiences. So when you feel that nagging voice is coming up and saying, hey, hey they're, they're going, going to find, to find out. out, you don't know what you're doing, let's be honest, no, no, other people do. We're just navigating life as it is. And your job title does not identify who you are. Now, let's move on to hack number two. Find a mentor. Having someone that has a few years of experience ahead of you, it's going to be really helpful to overcome some of those self-doubt and really get feedback on your abilities. If you find a really great mentor, they're going to help you navigate and improve some of the parts where you need improvement without making you feel like you're a fraud. We are all learning here. Which leads me to hack number three, and this one is really important. Reframe failure, okay? Fail, your new definition is fail is equal to first attempt in learning because we are all learning something new every single day. And failing is part of our growing process. Failing is part of understanding what works and what doesn't. Every single human being on this earth has failed at something or another. So don't be so hard on yourself. Remember that failure just shows you that you're actually trying. It shows what kind of person you are that you are going for your goals and you're trying your best and if you fail well you learn something new my friend so reframe failure and really embrace it so don't let those nagging voices overcome your mind and create that doubt from within really remember that we are all trying to do our best in this world okay if you like these tips and hacks, make sure to give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends, especially to my fellow women in STEM. And I would love to hear your comments and feedback or anything else that may have helped you overcome imposter syndrome. You can leave them in the comments below. I'm Lenis, your wellness engineer, helping you incorporate mindful practices so you can really cultivate joy, freedom, and well-being in your life. See you soon. Bye.